Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to learn how to create an animated input field with the blinking effect in Figma. And without further ado, let's get started. I have seen a lot of really complicated tutorial videos out there, but creating an animated input field is actually very simple. First, I'm going to select a frame and draw out our input field, but the height of this input field is going to be 48 and the width is going to be 342. I'm going to give it a stroke. I'm going to fill it with a white background and for the rounded corners, I'm going to give it 8 pixel. I'm then going to center it here a little bit more and then I'm going to add a placeholder text. And to do that, I'm going to hit T on the keyboard and type in our text. For this text, there's a few things I want you to do. First, I want us to set the line height to auto. And I want us to hit Shift A on it to create an auto layout on it. For the left and right of this auto layout, I want it to be 4 pixel. And for the top and bottom, I want it to be 2 pixel. I'm also going to center it back to the middle. And then I want to fill the background of this auto layout frame also with white. Once we have this, I want to reduce the thickness of the stroke of this placeholder text because it usually shouldn't be that bold, right? And for also the borders of the input field, I'm also going to reduce the thickness of the stroke down a little bit more. Now, once you have this, the next thing you want to do is to create your component. So I'm going to come here and create component. And for that component, I'm also going to add another variant by clicking these three dots and clicking on add variant. For the variant, basically what we want to do is to select this variant text and move it to the top a little bit more. But as you can see, it's cutting here and that is because this frame here is on clip content. You can see it's checked here, so we are going to uncheck it. I'm going to select the default frame and I'm also going to uncheck this clip content so that two of them have the same settings. Now, once you have this, another thing you want to do is to reduce the size of this placeholder text. Um, so I'm going to drop it down to 10 pixel. 10 can be too small. You can drop it down to 12 pixel, which I think is decent. Then for the fill, I'm going to change it back to the deep black color. So once you have this, the next thing you want to do is for the stroke here, which is going to be the active state, you want to give it an active stroke of whatever your brand color is or whatever your active stroke color is. For me, I'm just going to make it this green color here, and I'm going to increase the thickness down to two pixel. So now we want to start adding our interactions. I'm going to select the default state here, switch to the prototype tab and add an interaction. For the trigger, it's going to be on tab. For the action, I'm going to change it to change to and then for the property, we are changing to the second variant. For the animation, I'm going to change it to Smart Animate. And the duration, I'm going to make it 100 millisecond. I'm going to close this up, select the second one, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click on Interaction. It's going to be an on tap. For the action, it's going to be a change to. For the property, we are going back to the default one. And for the animation, it's going to be a Smart Animate. And for the duration, we are going to make it 100 millisecond. So once you have this, you're going to notice that we've been able to create our animated input field. Very simple. So I'm going to select the default one here, copy it, come to our mobile frame here, and just paste it in. And then I'm just going to bring it down to this login part. I'm going to select the entire frame and click on prototype to preview our prototype. Now you see that once you tap on this, we are going to get our animated state. This is very simple. In less than five minutes, you should be able to create your animated input field using interactive components. Now let's add the blinking animation. I'm going to go back to this design and to add the blinking animation, I'm going to select this pen tool and just draw a vertical line here. Now for this vertical line, I'm going to switch back to the design panel and give it a height of 18 pixel. And for this thickness of the stroke, I'm going to leave it at 1.6. So once I have this, I'm going to go ahead to create a component out of this particular stroke. I'm going to create a component and I'm going to also create another variant of this. So we have two variants of this component. So for the first one, I'm going to go ahead to the appearance section and reduce it down to zero until it is invisible. And then I'm going to switch to the prototype tab, add an interaction. For the interaction here, it's going to be an after delay. And I'm going to reduce this 800 millisecond to 500 millisecond. I'm also going to change the action here to change to, and basically we are changing to the second variant, right? So I'm going to do the same thing for this second variant. I'm going to create an interaction. The interaction is also going to be an after delay, and this is going to be 500 millisecond. And then for the action, it's going to be a change to. We are changing to the default state, 
and I'm going to close this up. So basically what we are doing is after 500 milliseconds, we are switching between these two strokes, which is going to give us the blinking effect. I'm going to select this component and just move it out of the artboard a little bit. Then select the visible one, which is this second one down here. Select this visible one. Then come to our active states in our input field and just paste this in. So you're going to see that if it is not pasted in the right position, you can click and drag it to the right position. So once you have this, we can go ahead and play our prototype again to see how the blinking animation is working. So I'm going to play the prototype and then hit R on the keyboard to refresh. And then if you click on this, you're going to see we have our blinking animation. This is very simple, guys. Creating an animated input field is quite simple. And in subsequent video, we are going to talk about how you can create the type effect in your input field in Figma. So if you learned something in this video, please do not forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. Bye for now, guys, and I'm going to see you guys in my next video.